Louise? Yeah, it's me. I know I said I wouldn't call, but... Would it be all right if I came and saw you? Thanks for seeing me. Just say what you've got to say and go. What would you say if I told you that I've made a terrible mistake? Besides, too right you have, you mean? I'd say that you treated me like dirt. And I'm surprised you had the cheek to even phone me, never mind turn up on my doorstep. You knew the risks I was taking being with you, and when the pressure came on, you dropped me. And that hurt. You hurt me. I know, Louise, not, and I'm sorry. Well, you said what you had to say. I've really missed you. And I haven't stopped thinking about you. Since we split, I don't know, I just... <laughs> I've been walking around in the days. I know you're angry and you've got every right to be. I should never have treated you like that. You deserve better. A lot better. And I blew it. And I'm going to regret that for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. Isn't this the bit where you leave and I never see you again? I never wanted to stop seeing you. You do know that, don't you? <sighs> well, I just didn't realise what we were dealing with. Or who we were dealing with. When I saw what your old man did to that lad, well, I mean, he cut his fingers off. It totally freaked me out. So what changed your mind? It's not as if Pete's had a change of heart. He's as bad now as he's ever been. I didn't want to put you at risk. I thought of you getting hurt because of your involvement with me. I'd be more worried about what he'd do to you. That I could cope with. If he ever hurt you. I can look after myself. Just don't take any more risks than we need to and we'll be fine. But if you're going to keep on bailing out on me every time it gets a bit rough, then you should go now. It's going to take a bigger man than Pete Larson to rattle me. Stay calm and follow me lead, all right? He'll kill me. He'll kill us both. Just follow me lead. You ready? Yeah. Right. Come on, then. Yeah, everything seems fine, madam. What's going on? What's the matter? I'm Sergeant Smith from Sunhill. Your wife thought she heard some noises. She gave us a call. We've checked the place out and everything's fine. Yeah, I thought there was someone in the house. Then why didn't you call me? Well, you could have been anywhere. He's got a couple of mobile phones, but he never has either of them switched on. Yeah. Well, it's all clear now, so um, I'll be on my way. Sorry to have wasted your time, officer. No, it's what we're here for. Listen, thanks. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure, sir. Mrs. Larson, if I could be of any more help. Mr. Larson. Hey. Oh! And where have you been for the past hour? Well, you're not the only one that can use the old I'm on refs excuse, you know. How'd it go with the uh, super? Well, surprisingly well. Not only did I get an apology, but also. A... Well done. Oh, blimey. I was expecting blood and guts. Well, I'd be on standby with a mop and bucket because she has an interview with the borough commander. 
Well, if that's how it's got to be, then that's how it's got to be. I'll still be here when you get back. But just take care, all right? Look, I've got to go. Yeah, you too. Have you got a minute? Yeah, what do you want? Vince Garrison. What? He's fallen out with Larson and set up on his own. Only half an hour ago, I found him shot dead in the back seat of his car. And you think Larson did it? So what's that got to do with me? Well, I just wondered what the score was with you and Louise. I see. Come on, Smithy. You've got to help me out here. I've got nothing. I've just heard that the Larsons are going on an extended holiday. So they're not going to be around for quite a while. So it looks like your lead just got a little bit colder. Yeah. OK, thanks a lot. <laughs>